What's up gaming heroes, my name is Erosium and in today's video we're going to be looking at how you can be more entertaining on YouTube. We'll be looking at how you can be more entertaining in gaming videos, video logs, reviews, absolutely everything. There's so much entertainment, are you entertained? You're all sat there, you're rearranging your hair like, whoa, Rosium, put down the energy drink, do. I think you're going a little bit hard on, on the old enthusiasm there. There was a point in that. I'm not going to lie, there was a little bit of a point there. Who am I? Click subscribe. I am a fully trained actor, guys. I've got a degree in acting, and I feel that gives me a certain level of confidence in order to perform for people here on YouTube. That also allows me to be the best, most entertaining version of myself for my viewers. If that sounds like something you might enjoy, please click that subscribe button and I will see you in the future. We do a lot of gaming videos here and we're just trying to make people laugh and have a smile. All right, all right, Erosium, get on with it, get on, we're done. Stop self-promoting, just get on with the video. All right, okay, all right, I'm doing that. Calm, calm down. So something I really like to do is watch other content creators in the space I'm working. So whether that is, you know, how-to videos or whether that's gaming. One of the content creators I really enjoy watching is Markiplier. Now, one of the things that he does in every single gaming video he ever records, even like, you know, IRL videos, is he brings a new level of enthusiasm and his emotions are always heightened. Now, what do you mean by heightened emotions? Well, if I was to be my, my normal self, I would just be like, you know, just, okay, cool, let's, oh yeah, let's play some Minecraft. But if I am my Erosium self and I am trying to, you know, entertain an audience, I'd be like, yeah, let's play Minecraft. Let's have a good time with that. And what I am doing there is simply going above and beyond with the enthusiasm. I'm trying to, to make it so that people are coming on a journey with me. They're enthusiastic to join this journey of going on to just Minecraft with me or something like that. And what I'm also doing is heightening the emotion. Now, what do you mean by heightening the emotions? Well, if I was use Minecraft as a simple, uh, simple example, if I was walking along and one of those nasty monsters, the creeper, runs at me and he blows up my chest, which has got lots and lots of diamonds and the chests fall into lava, but as a result, I would be very sad about that and I would heighten that. So um, if I was playing off camera, I might just be like, oh, damn, on camera, I'll be I'll be much more aggressive with, with my sadness and uh, I would be much more dreary. I'd let my voice reflect the sadness of losing those diamonds to the poor lava and things like that. I know it's like over dramatizing the situation. However, doing certain things like that can really, really attract that Lynn who enjoy just experiencing someone doing something rather ordinary in a creative, fun, entertaining way. Silences are an opportunity for someone to leave your video. Be careful about leaving long pauses in your video because it will certainly detract from what you are trying to do. The best way to handle those would be in editing as everyone in you know, video creation when recording will have quiet spots where they might need to breathe. They might be focused on something. They might not understand something. They might be listening. Those are usually good opportunities to make a cut and skip over that moment. The last thing you want is an audience member to be sat there with a very low attention span, which is often the case nowadays in 2020. Be sat there looking at the screen and then there's like five seconds of silence with nothing's happening and the audience member is just like, oh, someone, someone just messaged me. Oh, you know what, I'm gonna check another video out. That's all it takes. That silence is enough to make him look at their phone, then look back at the screen and just be like, I wanna watch something else. Don't leave large gaps of silence in there. It will really, really detract from you trying to be entertaining, which I'm sure you are. This was something that I really struggled to grasp as a younger person. Destroy all ums and ers. Do not allow um, uh, uh, um, um, uh, 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 u
it completely destroys the rhythm of what you are saying. And that is again another situation where silences will be created, where people will want to click up the video, or you will sound unprofessional and not at all entertaining. Cut those out, get rid of them, destroy them, melt the ums and uhs into oblivion! Smile. Seriously guys, facial expression when you're playing games, if you're playing games with a webcam, make sure you use that webcam. Smile. And look at the audience, and the audience get that connection with you. You get those, that connection together, you share it, and you laugh together. That, that eye contact that you are giving the audience, that it, it's transferable to laughter. And you will really, really feel that when people get themselves in the comments and like say, dude, that was funny. Something else that you can do to actually improve upon that is to actually zoom in on your webcam if you're using a webcam. In the editing program, zoom in on your webcam so that you catch those moments where Erosium looks at the webcam or you look at the webcam and you share that moment of, of intimacy with the with the audience where you're, you're both laughing at what's going on in the game or whether you're laughing as to what is going on in general your speech. So this is when you really need to be focused on what you are saying. And the reason for this, depending on what you are doing when you're talking, your vocal inflection will change uh, based on doing that. So say for example, you're playing a game and there is a really, really intense moment where you've got to, you're struggling to, to focus and you have to just keep moving and you have to talk a little bit quicker. And then your voice gets a little bit scary because there's so many people coming towards you. You have to be really, really focused. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Ah! You have to reflect that with your voice and doing that takes the, the audience on a journey and makes them start to panic, makes them start to get involved, makes them feel like they are there with you sharing in your your pain, your misery, your laughter, whatever it is, the situation. Reflecting that in your voice massively, massively helps to entertain that audience. They leave that video thinking, wow, dude, dude, that game was awesome. And they feel like they played it, but they didn't. They were just watching you play it. And sometimes them actually seeing how much misery you're getting from a specific moment in a game gives them huge amounts of laugh. I know, for example, that when I've watched Markiplier play certain horror games, I find it absolutely hilarious, his reaction and how gosh darn scared he is of certain situations. Now, do I honestly believe Markiplier is that scared? No, I don't. I do believe that he is a professional performer and he is blooming good at what he does. And that makes us feel like our emotions are heightened. You know, Markiplier is really struggling. <gasps> oh gosh, he's really scared. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. You know, that type of stuff happens because of the way that he talks when he is doing his videos, the way he reflects in his body language, in his eye contact, his facial expressions, his vocal inflection, Everything, his, even his volume, everything like that happens because he is a good performer. And if you guys can train yourself to react to those situations in that way, you will really, really attract people who enjoy being entertained. Energy, bring in the energy. So this is something I am super, super good at. It was realizing that I have a completely different side of me when I'm just chilling out, monging out, playing games, talking to someone. That is a completely different side of me as a person to when I am recording. You know, when I'm recording, I want to bring my A-game. I want my audience to really, really love what I'm doing because that is what I am passionate about. That's what makes you guys laugh. That's what makes people smile. That's what improves their day. So bringing that new level of energy to your videos, uh, to your just entertainment in general, will massively encourage people to stick around your channel, click subscribe, smash that like button. Wait, did I just ask you guys to subscribe and, and smash that like button? I think I did. <laughs> hey, that worked. If you're super nervous of what you are saying and you're very conscious about thinking about what you are going to say and you have no idea what you're gonna say and it's putting you off recording, do yourself a favor. Write yourself a very basic script of things that you want to talk about. I used to do this back in the day, a long time ago, uh, when I was being trained as a actor. And this was probably seven years ago now, maybe six years ago. And the trick is just scripting a basic outline of things that you want to talk about, things that you want to cover, and just in general, your thoughts on that. And if you're ever struggling, you can literally just look down, a bit like I do, 
with videos, you can lock down, check what your your check what your point is, and then continue to speak about it. And in videos, guess what? You can cut those out. That's the the beauty of writing a very basic script. This really helps me when I am doing videos about how to do this, how to do that. When I'm doing just entertainment videos, everything is off the cuff for me personally because I find under pressure, that is when I perform my best. However, with these tutorials, I like to make sure that you guys are getting the A game of exactly what knowledge I have to share with you guys in a fun, engaging way. I call it edutainment, which is education and entertainment combined. Practice makes perfect, guys. The more you practice this, the better. Sometimes I'll say to, to someone who will ask me for a collab and I'll go to the channel and they haven't got very many videos and I say to them, why have you not got very many videos on your channel here? You want to collab with me, but you, you haven't really done any work yourself yet. Why is that? And I, I ask and a lot of the time they come back to me and they say, well, I like to play games with other people and then upload those. And I say to them, well, why is that the case? And they say, I, I, feel, I feel awkward whenever I record, I, I'm awkward. Uh, when I record, I don't know what to say. And to them, that's when I come back with practice makes perfect. You need to keep doing it. You need to keep practicing to get good at it. No one gets good at anything without doing it over and over again to improve every little interest, intricacy, intricacy of doing that simple action. So recording. Six years ago, I used to be terrible at recording videos. I would leave huge gaps of time in there. I would use bad music that isn't suited to the situation. I would have no idea really what I was talking about in a lot of the situations. And I never really did thumbnails, ever. <laughs> I didn't even know how to do thumbnails. I never did anything like that at all. But I've stuck to it. And over the years, I've got better and better and better. And as I've discovered that spending more time just self-developing myself and learning more and more about how to do this stuff, I've become very efficient, very proficient at it. And you guys won't be able to become that level of entertaining until you start practicing. Stop relying on others to, to get you something. Rely on yourself. Practice makes perfect. This one's for those guys out there that use face cams. You have one, two, three things that you need to use if you are using a face cam. Use your face. Your face is in the face cam. Make facial expressions. People love seeing the facial expressions. Use your hands. Your hands are great. They allow you to gesticulate and make your point. So sometimes uh, I'll be playing a game and something scary will happen and I'll go like that. And it's almost like a natural reaction for me when I'm scared to just grab my ears and, and want to deprive myself of any uh, hearing um, sensations for some reason. It's just the way it is. So sometimes I'll, I'll reach up and I'll, I'll grab my headphones up, be able to take them off or something like that. Or, or sometimes I'll face palm uh, or something like that. You've got hands basically. And if you're using a face cam, make sure you use them to make your point. It will greatly enhance the viewing pleasure of your audience. So many people are so fixated on what they need to say. They often don't expand and just talk about their thoughts. So a lot of the time I see, you know, I see this a lot. So I see this a lot in the gaming industry, specifically when I am watching people make their gaming videos. They talk about specific things that are happening on screen, but very rarely do they actually describe what they're thinking about. Now, in a recent video I was recording, I think it was Raft again, and, and the person I was commentating with was talking about a old film, which got me thinking about this time that my dad made me watch another old film. And that immediately got me thinking about you know, the uh, the genre, which was, I think it was artificial intelligence. And that's something I'm really passionate about. And I can talk quite, uh, not knowledgeable, but I can talk quite sci-fi geekiness about. So I can talk about that with a lot of passion because I consider myself quite a, a big sci-fi geek. So I just randomly started talking about it. And the person I was commentating with said, well, that's random, but it turned out to be really interesting and, and really funny. And someone actually messaged me about that asking for my thoughts on certain situations within that. And it sparked the new relationship with a viewer, which is great. Engagement with viewers is huge. It boosts your channel up. And that is something you really want to do. So even if you aren't just trying to just, so even if you aren't necessarily making like montage clips like I do for gaming videos, and you actually have a specific subject that you talk about in every video, you can really drive up engagement by simply talking about what you are thinking. 
where you're thinking about a specific subject and there's no harm in doing it. You always can edit the video afterwards. If there's something you said that you don't like or don't agree with anymore, then you can easily change that in the future. Sound, music. When I was learning about theatre in university, I was taught that your sensations and your senses are one of the most important things for an audience to experience. So say, say something is happening on stage and you want the audience to feel like they are there and they're not just watching a play, having sight, which is obviously the play happening, having smell, something smell on stage that takes them to that area where you're trying to envision, having hearing music. So with video, it's obviously impossible for you to smell. So with video, it's obviously impossible for you to have smell. Oftentimes you can describe smell and the audience can remember that smell and therefore be transported to that place. So it's important to always describe your senses, but there is something called audio. Play music guys, play music dependent on the situation. If there's a super scary intense moment, why don't you have intense scary music? Films do it, it makes us feel really scared and intense in those moments because because they have put music in the background to make us feel like that. Have you have you ever thought what it would be like to watch James Bond with only audio but no music? It would be an entirely different film, crazily different, because music makes James Bond films. People don't realise that a lot of the time, that the, the music gets really intense at those moments, but if you just listen to only the, the, the voice, the voices, and no music in James Bond films, it would be completely different. And it's the same for your entertainment videos. Play music when you want the audience to experience something. Describe a smell. Say say it's um, say you're outside and you smell freshly mown grass. People love that. They they can smell freshly mown grass through a video if you describe. Say you're in the countryside and it smells a little bit like cow manure. You can have a laugh about that. That is funny. That is something that someone might enjoy. Granted, I'm a bit immature, so I'll probably enjoy it a bit more than others. But hey ho, that's just me. <laughs> I was born in the countryside, so I so when I hear that, I immediately think of the countryside. Those are my tips, guys, for how you could be more entertaining. Naturally, there are additional things that you could do, such as just become such as become highly efficient at editing your videos using you know really good programs. But this video was mainly just to cover exactly what you can do when recording to make the best possible video and how to be the most entertaining you can. If you have enjoyed this video, please, please walk gently over to the like button. Give it a good old pat. Say hello. Hello, old chap. How are you doing? Going to give you a click. Thank you very much. I enjoyed this video, I will show that by clicking like. I will consider subscribing because, you know, this Erosium guy, he seems to be onto something, I think. Yes. Yes, you know what? I will subscribe. I like the I like the the cut of this I like the cut of your jib. Thanks for watching Gaming Heroes. This is Erosium out and I will see you next time.